Hello everyone, it's Rachel here at Clarty Hands Crafts and in today's video I'm going to be showing you a way of making a window page to go inside your junk journal and the way that I'm doing this is a great way to use up all of your little tiny scraps paper, card, fabric, they can all be used and it just creates a bit of a more interesting page to go inside I made one earlier and I was actually trying to video it <laughs> and it went horribly wrong because I forgot to press record in one of the main parts <laughs> so if I can find it here's the one that I made earlier on today so as you can see I've made a little frame there if I just take that out then you can see it a bit more clearly so I've used scraps to make a frame around the outside inserted acetate and then I've got a little bit of detail on the back there as well, just so that it didn't look too um, sort of messy on the on the reverse. So I'll show you how I did it, and then you can go ahead and make your own or adapt it. So I'm using acetate today, but if you wanted to use tracing paper or something, anything that you can see through a bit will work just as well. So this is my pile of scraps. I'm just going to set those to one side and I chose all different ones that would co coordinate and then you'll need two pieces of paper or card a thinner card would give you the best result um, so this one is quite thin and it's a good way to use up your single sided sheets as well because the back side is going to be enclosed and this one is slightly thicker but I think together they'll work just fine the first thing to do is to get the pages the same, same size and I think this one was 21 centimeters high yep and this one is going to be the same so if I just turn that that way and pop that up there measure that at 21 centimeters And then what I'm going to do is just fold that. I'm going to do it that way. And close that white side in the middle. Okay, and I want to be working on this brown sheet. So that's going to be the one that I, that I do all my designing on. So you'll need to fold them both. And then the side that you are not going to be working on, I would recommend if you can stick them together, that would be great. Or what I'm going to do in this case is make a pocket page. So if I just centralize that a little bit. And then with it being stuck together, it just means that it isn't going to wiggle out of shape while you're working on the other page. So I'm going to make this into a top loading pocket page. So I just need to glue, in fact, I'll glue three sides. And I've got my pin here because that is a bit clogged up. Oh yeah, it is. <clears throat> I'll glue down, across, an extra line of across, and down the other side. Holding everything into position. I can do this without sticking the other pages together. It's not playing ball. There. Right. Now I'll have to line it all up again. And then if you can just press those pages together. And then that just means that we can get into the side and it's not going to move out of position. It's always going to be one on top of the other. And then just so that we know which one we're working on, because this is the problem, another problem that I had last time, I glued it and then I started working on that page for the window and then I had to open it up. But I just clip a notch into that because it's going to be a top loading pocket. 
and then I'll know not to work on that page. Now to make my window I'm going to be using a quilting ruler which just makes everything easier for me but you can just do this however you want so basically you need to have a square cut out of the centre so you can just do it by eye or you can do it um, measuring somehow. You could just use the width of a normal ruler if you wanted to. Um, So for example, you could just draw a box using the edge of your ruler all, on all four sides. But I just want my window to be slightly smaller than that. One thing you do need to be careful of is to not make your acetate get too close to the spine of that signature. So I'm lining up the one and a half inch mark, which is here, along the spine of that signature. And then I'm just gonna pop a gentle pencil line down there and then I'm going to do that all around the edges as well at one and a half inches and that will give us a rectangle in the centre to cut out. And then you can use a paper trimmer where you can guide the placement like this one or you can use a craft knife and a mat. I'll be doing that. And if you are doing it this way then just remember that you need a steel edge rather than a plastic edge to work against. Otherwise you'll end up cutting into your plastic ruler with Make sure that cuts through both layers. The ruler slipped slightly there, but because we're going to be making a border with those scraps, we can just easily cover that up. So. It's quite forgiving of any little mistakes like that. There we go, that's not the neatest job I've ever done. My knife is starting to come apart. <laughs> but that will do for now. Okay. And then what we're going to do is cut a piece of acetate which fits within that window. So what we need to do is leave enough border to stick it down. So you can just use scissors to cut that as long as it's larger than the window itself. Now if you've used uh, purchased acetate rather than scraps of packaging, then you will probably have a film that you need to remove. And for some reason that film's usually just on one side and I don't really understand why. So then we're going to open the door that we've created and we're going to stick this down and I'm using this uh, tape runner just to hold it in place. There's not much left in this. No, nope, that's it done. But that will just make sure that the window stays in position. And then what we can do is let me just take that out because it's confusing. Is glue all around the edges. And what I'm going to do as well is just add a bit of glue on top of the acetate, but not get too close to that window because I don't want it to squish out. I don't know if that glue will hold on the acetate, but 
It's going to be holding the paper together anyway, so... Either way, it should be secure enough. Plenty of glue around that border, and then we're going to close the lid. Okay, so there you have the base for the window page. And just before I get on with the decorating, I'm going to take that white edge, otherwise it's going to bother me. <laughs> trimmed off with a knife or a trimmer. Do that bottom bit as well. And that just looks a bit neater to me. So this is a great addition to a journal which is looking a bit too plain. Um, I often find that when I'm using lots of plain papers, I find that the pages get a bit boring and repetitive. So this is a way to put a stop to that. Okay, so the, all we need to do next is to decorate. And I'm just going to keep those to one side because I want to use those on the reverse. So we're decorating, we'll call this the front and the other side of the back. Um, and we're just going to take small pieces of scraps. And as I say, you can use scrap fabrics, scrap papers, just whatever you've got lying around. And we're just going to make a border around the outside. So using some glue. And we're not worrying too much about the placement. Just going to stick it wherever it looks nice in our mind's eye. Okay. This art glitter glue is really useful for doing jobs like this because you can just stick down the little ends that are poking up. So I just like to kind of guess where each scrap is going to lie and put the glue under and then you can just top up by lifting it. Maybe a pair of tweezers would have made this easier. It's just because it's fine tissue paper that I don't have much control over where it's landing. And then I'm just going to pop another golden bit over that corner as well. Again, I'm sticking onto the acetate for an extra bit of security to hold that window in place. I've got some sheet music here. You can do a mixture of long pieces and short pieces. And just layer them on top of each other. firmer pieces it's much easier to actually glue onto the paper itself. Some doily. And I find doing things like this really relaxing. Here I've got some lace and I'm just going to cut a small piece of that. And just use some of it to overlap the edge. I said in a previous video that I'd never used this art glitter glue 
for fabric before but it stuck really well to card in the project that I was doing so it can be used for that. thing to be careful of is to try not to get glue on the acetate window itself because it can be really hard to get off. Pieces of the digital kit that I've used inside this journal elsewhere and that will just make sure that the the tones that are included will coordinate with this page so it won't look out of place And you can make it as detailed as you want and have as much uh, layering as you want as well. Quite like that jagged edge of the paper bag. And you just build it up and go with the floor, see what looks good. Small pieces of text can make things look quite interesting. Oh no. I didn't want that to happen. Sure we can cover something like that up later on. Just gonna take a little bit of yellow through the design because there are lots of yellows in my kit.
next door's puppy going a bit mad. Just gonna pull a bit more of that gold in. Because I really like the way that that pops in the light. Okay, um, I don't like that corner so I'm just going to lay something over the top of that to anchor it down. So there's the pretty border, okay. So because this card was a little bit thicker than I wanted, it's become quite hard to fold. But I have managed, I'm giving it a good squash down into position. So, sorry, you've got the reflection of my ring light there. Um, but there's a pretty border and then you can just add any kind of text or you could add some um, little cutouts or something over the top if you wanted. And it'll work nicely over the top. If I can find a page with some detail, such as this, behind it, then it just gives you a little peekaboo of what's on the page behind. On the back, this doesn't look too great, does it? So that's what I put these aside for. So these were just some uh, pieces of dictionary page which were being covered in a napkin. And I thought that we could just layer those underneath. Now I've got one side that's got the, that doesn't have napkin and one side that does. So we'll see which one looks best peeking through. And I think that that's going to be best. I don't have any more of that, do I? Right, let's see if we can make this work because I don't have a lot of it. And now I kind of want the napkin side facing up. And then all we're gonna do is just add some glue around this side To give us some kind of body. You could do the whole thing again if you wanted to. I'm just going to try and move that over a little bit. It might have dried a bit too instantly for this. There, I like the way that that's layered there. Can you see? That just gives you that little bit of peekaboo around the back. Okay, and then going to do the same with this piece if it will if it's enough I think it will be and okay, we're just going to have a tiny little peek of it so I'll need to keep okay the camera turned itself off there so I hope you saw all that basically I've stuck that down to make another window on the reverse as well like another window border on the reverse and then on the front it looks really cool it's got that little bit of text but you can see that it's further back than the rest so it's an extra layer okay and then it's up to you what you decorate on the other side of your page depends where of course you're going to put it in your signature um, but if you wanted to put a photograph or something behind so that there's something to actually focus on through that window then that's great as well there we have it i hope you enjoyed this little video and i hope you give something like this a try um what i think i might do is add a bit of stitching so you could add some stitching detail around there just make sure that your sewing machine's not trying to go through some acetate because i don't think it's really designed for for one plastic like that i know it's not designed for paper either but you know paper's a lot uh a lot easier to pierce <laughs> I'll see you again next time. Bye.